Hey guys, welcome back. This is my fifth and my last Pulp Basics video, and today we are going to talk about how to actually solve our linear programming problem um, using Python and the Pulp package. Um, so first I want to talk about this prob.solve function. Um, this is what we're going to use to actually solve our problem that we set up, um, and this website has a good description of what's going on in this case. Um, it's right here. So basically it says the LP is solved using the solver that Pulp chooses. Um, the input brackets after solve are left empty, however they can be used to specify which solver to use. So you could say something like prob.solve, cplex, um, and you can choose which solver you want to use, otherwise if you leave it empty, Pulp is just going to choose which solver it um, wants to use. Um, so in this case I'm just going to leave it empty, um, that's what I've done so far. Um, then the next thing we want to do is we want to print the status, like uh, optimal, infeasible, not solved. Um, in order to do that, we're going to say print, and then you could say something like status, colon, just so it looks nice in the shell. And then our line that we want to say um, to print the status is lp status bracket prob.status bracket um, and then close that parentheses. Um, so again that's just going to print our um, status in the shell and then the next thing we want to do of course is print our uh, solutions to the decision variables. So first let's talk about um, if you have a binary decision variable how we're going to print that to the screen um, which ones uh, the solver chose. So Say um, we have an optimal solution um, for this facility location problem that we were using earlier. Basically, um, we had a binary variable and then a continuous variable. And the binary variable was uh, where a facility was established, which location it was established at. Um, so we want to know which ones are chosen to establish. Um, so in order to do that, we want to say, uh, first I'm just going to comment, um, binary print solution to binary. Um, so the first thing we need to do is just create a tolerance and you don't have to do this but I think it's a good thing to do in case something goes a little wrong. Um, and you can say for I in facility that was the list that we created. So then you want to say uh, conditional statement if use underscore vars bracket I and um, use vars was what we called our decision variable um, that was binary for um, which facility to locate. Um, and then you're going to say dot var capital V value um, greater than tol. So basically, it's going to test this if um, this statement is true, if our tolerance is greater than. Um, or our value is greater than 0 0.0001. So in other words, if the value of this at a, for a certain facility is 1, um, then that means a facility needs to be established in that location. So we're then going to print, if this is true, we're going to print establish facility at site and then comma I and that's gonna say whatever the facility number is. Um, so you don't have to say this but you should say something along those lines um, so you understand what's going on in the shell. Um, so next I'm going to talk about how to print the solution to uh, continuous variables. We're gonna do another loop so we're gonna say for V in prob dot variables colon and then I guess you would also you would also need a colon up here um, and then we're gonna say print v dot name comma equals um, and that equal sign is just uh, again so it looks nice equals v dot var value so that's gonna print the name of our variable and then equals and then whatever the value that it determined for the optimal solution. And then another thing we also need to print of course is the optimal solution. So print optimal 
And for this, we are going to say print. So um, let's say we had our diet problem where it was the total cost of our diet was what we were minimizing. So we would say total cost of food um, per serving, comma. Then you're going to say value, parentheses, prob dot objective. All right. And that's about it for uh, printing solutions. That's as far in detail as I'm going to go. And I hope you guys look at my next videos. We're going to be um, going through a full solution of multiple problems. Um, some of them are going to be multiple integers. Some are going to be blending problems. All that kind of stuff. Hope this was helpful to you guys.